Hello again, YouTube. All right, today what I'm going to be doing, I'm, I'm going to be changing out my CV boot. And this is also a good video to show you how to take out the whole axle itself and do whatever you need to do in there. But as you can see, my boot is ripped and it's spewing all of its contents everywhere. So it needs to be replaced. So as you can see, I already got the wheel off. Just lug nuts, easy enough. Um, if you are looking for a 96 Camry, uh, it was a 21 millimeter, or whatever the conversion is. And that gets your tire off. Once you get your tire off, you've got that one. And a cotter pin which is in there so you can either if you need to reuse these don't cut them but this is going to be in here in between the grooves so this thing doesn't move around so either bend this and slide it out if you need to reuse it or cut it this one slid out pretty easy unlike the other side that I did but once that gets off then you need let's see what size this guy is 17 millimeter and then take this bolt off and once that is off then i'm going to come down here and this, i'm pretty sure this is your control arm right here that's connecting it up here this guy has three you can see from the top it's like a triangle and then it has one here and then two down here they're both set, or all three of them are 17s just undo all three of these and just a quick tip, I really highly suggest you get a torque wrench for this. And I've got an adapter on here so I could use the, the right size, but a torque wrench or some kind of torque bar to get these off. These are really tough. But I got these off. Now the next thing that you have to do is come back up front and get this guy out. You don't want to pinch this together, cut it, like I said in the beginning, do whatever you need to with this. Uh, take this out. This is on here loose just to make sure nothing, the bolt behind it doesn't come out. So let's take that out first. All right, now that that's off, you're going to have this bolt in here. You're going to need a 30 millimeter deep socket. I have a 30 millimeter short, but I had to get the deep socket because it wouldn't fit all the way on. So either have someone step on the, well, that's really your only choice, is have someone step on the brakes while you turn this. Uh, I would suggest a torque wrench again because this one's really on there along with the ones on the back. All right, now that everything is out, you've got the bolt here, the bolt underneath here, and the three back behind there. Now you can actually start moving stuff around. So the first thing you're going to do is take this. It's going to have to come out. It's, it's going to be a pain in the ass. There's a special tool you can use to pry under there and pop it up, but whatever you can do to get this out, you already got the bolt out of here, so by the time you get that out, you should be good. And after that, this whole assembly will be able to move, and you can move it out. And this part is connected through to your axle all the way up to that boot, which is connected up there, but we'll get to that. All right. So, as you can see, this one is already out. I was just doing that. It popped out when I was doing the other side. So, this whole thing needs to be separated from this. So, I'm doing this one person. The best way to do it is just to lift this up with a jack. All right, that's what it's gonna look like once you get it out. As you can see, that was in there, popped out. This can move around. But what I had to do is get the jack, push it up onto the bottom, and put a lot of weight on that, then just use a hammer. But that thing is really, really in there. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is 
see here in the back you got the three all you have to do is push the control arm down a little bit because these right here the screws are part of this piece right here all you have to do is push this down and push this part up and it'll come loose as you can see now these are the three and this is the three that was on there this moves around this whole component can move around as much as you want this guy can too so now that you have all that off you've got your outer one which for me is the ripped one and then you have your inner one up there sadly you have to take this whole thing out if you want to get the outer boot so there's nothing really keeping that on there except for the boot clamp so this thing just on that side so pop that off and just pull all right that's where it came out of as you can see all the lubrication in there you can clean it out with a towel and put in the new stuff while you're at it or you can leave it in there but this is the whole axle itself so you can see this end is the one that goes towards the car it's got the three knuckles on it the boots still good so I'm gonna reuse it I just have to take this clamp off and put on new clamps but I'm gonna keep the boot on there since it's perfectly fine this one I'm gonna have to replace because obviously it's ripped to hell and I have to take these two clamps off so to get these off after you take this boot off and clean this up a little bit this top portion is gonna have to be hit and popped out but we'll get to that all right for these clips that are already on here how to take these off you're gonna have to grab it with some pliers and you're gonna pull this way and they should pop right out there it goes it's hard to do with one hand helper hands and my own and once that comes off then you should be able to slide this whole thing off and get all that grease out so as you can see I move the boot down so now I can get this off. Um, I cleaned up the grease a little bit just so you could see what's going on here. There it is. So let me focus in on here. There's a clip that goes right here. You don't have to take it off, but you can if you want to. Just as long as when you're trying to take this piece off, you're not smacking that because that's not going to make it go anywhere so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a towel over this and slowly start tapping it with a hammer all the way around and it will eventually slide out all right there we go mission successful here's the the top piece that came off oh, I didn't do exactly what I said I was gonna do just tap it with a hammer all the way around it slides right out this is the pin I was talking about. Just make sure it doesn't go further in when you're driving. You can also replace this pin, but I've heard that the aftermarket pins are just not the right size. But it moves around, it stays in place, it does its job. I'm not going to replace it, just like the boot. So I'm going to slide this boot all the way off now so I can put on the new boot here. Like I said, I'm going to take both of these off. You can cut this off if you want to everything comes off this side and all the new stuff comes back on this side and there it is with everything off cleaned up uh, just a little bit and now I get to take this boot and my new boot and slide them on all right now I've slipped the boots on I'm going to put the clamps the small clamps on the ends and before I do the large one on this one um, I'm gonna fill this with grease you can get it at your auto parts store or if it came with a kit just fill this bad boy up with grease and then slide this over and put the the clamp on there as soon as you pop this in because it's, it's kind of like a sealed compartment once you put this on then you fill it up here slide it up and then you clamp it down there it's like a, its own closed system this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to fill this up with lube throw it in there and then put the clamp on it's better to have two people when you do that 
And quick tip before you put your clamps on. I've got my clamp here. Before you put it on here, make sure you wipe this down very well so there's no grease on here or it has the possibility of just sliding out. Okay, now that I got the clamps on, we're almost done. I got these two on nice and tight. Got this one on nice and tight with all the, the new grease up in here. I've got this one kind of on here loose, so when I put it up in there, I only have to tighten it up a little bit when I'm under the car. So now that you have this on, this just pops back in, maybe one or two taps of the hammer, goes back in here, and make sure you line up the nubs, as you can see, the three in there. And that slides all the way back in, slide the boot on and tighten it up. In there now with a clamp down make sure the boot is even all the way around because the boot has those grooves in it and you need to get it into the grooves as you put it up there so now that that's in make sure it's not gonna slide out and put any pressure on I got it sitting in just right right now so the next thing you're gonna do is take this whole assembly you're gonna push it out and put it right back into where this is back into the center in here. Alright, as you can see, I got it through there. It's not all the way through, but that's fine. We're going to finish up with the rest of the things. We're going to get this, put it back where it was, inside here, just push it down, and then the bolts here on the bottom. You have to go back and forth and position it. If the axle falls back out, just pop it back in. But back to where it was, that moves around. Just make sure you put it back on top and put the bolts through. Then put the two bolts, or the three bolts on the bottom, and the bolt in the side. And once you do that, this middle piece should be sticking out more than it should now. All right, now that we got everything back on got this the screw in this is nice and lined up I've got it through here see how it's poking out more now and all the bolts down there nice and tight now remember the cotter pins when you're done here I've got mine put in here if my phone will focus there we go I've got one side bent down and the other one kind of bent straight up. You can buy these also at your your hardware store anywhere. It's got this one comes in two sizes, the long ones and the short ones. You use the long one for this one and a, a short one for this one. There you go. That's what I'm using. I'm gonna use a short one on there, bent it up. Now I just need to put the nut back on here then once I'm done tightening that up put this one over the top and make sure that your cotter pin goes in between those grooves again bend it around and that'll be that once you get that bolt on put this one on make sure it's in there locked into the the same grooves as the nut you just put in there and over here on the side you can see that hole grab your cotter pin put it through see how it's in the grooves like that Make sure it's it's in there, and then take these, bend them both this way, bend one this way, bend the other that way, whatever keeps it in there. And as you can see, now that I bent it in there, it's all the way around. I've tightened these, the three on the bottom, and everything is nice and secured in place. It's a nice cleaned up boot. That's a brand new boot. And you're ready to put your tire on and drive it around, get that lube going, and nice very very cheap fix and not have to pay all that money for labor